So this is a question from Infinite series from CSIR Net, June two thousand twenty-two, and uh, the value of this series is to be calculated at x is equal to half. So actually, whenever you see summation like this term, it is just two times summation n is equal to zero to infinity. It is like this. This term we can write it as one upon one minus x because if you take it in the numerator and open it with binomial expansion, it will be one plus x plus x square plus x cube, which is summation. So if you open this, it will become one plus x plus x square plus x cube plus dash dash dash, which will become the same summation, right? And if I want to write n x to the power n, so it is so obvious that we will take the derivative here. It will become summation n is equal to zero to infinity, n x to the power n minus one, and its derivative will become minus. Uh, so one minus x square, and uh, the derivative of that will be minus one. Correct. So it will become one upon one minus x whole square. Correct. Now, if I write it as summation n is equal to zero to infinity, multiply both sides by x, so it will become n x to the power n is equal to x by one minus x whole square. Correct. And now, because you want here n square, so put uh, summation n is equal to zero to infinity n square x n minus one is equal to denominator square denominator derivative of numerator minus numerator derivative of denominator which is two times one minus x into minus one okay so you will solve this and uh, you have now n square also and if i multiply it by x again on the both sides so i will get summation n square also x to the power n so that will become summation n square x to the power n is equal to x 1 plus x by 1 minus x cube okay so now you add all of them you have a uh, summation x to the power n as this so we can add all of them so i can write this equal to first of all summation n square x to the power n so it will be x 1 plus x by 1 minus x cube plus 3 times n x to the power n so it will become 3 times x by 1 minus x whole square plus 2 times x to the power n so 2 times 1 minus x and now put x is equal to half as required in the question and you will get this summation is equal to 16. So only idea was that if you can start it from here this step summation x to the power n then you can obviously write it by taking the derivative and again multiplying it by x so that it remain x to the power n not n minus 1 okay thank you